Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Vivo Move style and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, you can pair this watch with the Android phone uh, in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it um, through the settings once the watch has been already set up because you can uh, set up the watch without uh, pairing it to a phone. First, I'm gonna show you um, how to do it through the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, um, so let's continue the pairing. First thing, you will need to turn on your watch. And to turn it on, you will need to plug it to a charger. Once you plug it to a charger, it will turn on automatically. And if your watch is brand new or it's been, it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see the hello messages on the screen. Once you see them, tap on the screen to continue. Now you should see the language option and you can basically scroll through the list of languages by swiping left and right on the screen. Find the language you would like to use on your watch. Once you find it, uh, tap on it to select it. And as you can see, now we're being asked if you want to uh, pair the watch with a phone. We want to do it, so tap on the check mark and the watch will enter pairing mode. That's how it looks like. Once the watch enters the pairing mode, you can open the uh, Google Play Store on your phone. Of course, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, go to the Play Store, tap on search and type in Garmin Connect. Then tap on search. And you should see the application Garmin Connect by Garmin. Tap on the install button to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, you will see this page. Basically, we need to log in into a Garmin Connect account. If you don't have an account, you can always tap on create account to make a new one. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on sign in. Then check the box, tap on next. And now we can tap on the email and password. Basically, email, enter the email address, and then password, of course, to log in. Okay, so once you enter the password and email, you can tap on next. <laughs> Allow the required permissions. And the app will start looking for the nearby devices and it should detect your Vivo Move style automatically. If it doesn't detect your watch, you can go back and then tapping on the checker again to re-enter the pairing mode. And after the, the app detects your watch, tap on connect it, tap on allow, enter the uh, pin from the watch, tap on OK, I must have entered it wrong, my bad. Let's try again. Uh, okay. 370799, okay. Okay, this time it worked. Now we can tap on next. Here we can set up uh, sleep time, basically when we wake up and when we um, go to sleep. Uh, this is useful if you want to use do not disturb mode during sleep. So basically it will turn off the notifications when you're sleeping, so you won't be disturbed. If you want to set it up, you can tap on bedtime, swipe up and down to set the hour, then wake time like that. And then you can tap on next and select if you want to turn on the do not disturb mode or not. Here we can select preferred wrist and tap next and then we can select the uh, watch face, basically. Find the one you like, and select it, and tap next. Right here you can set the goals, like steps, uh, water, and stuff like that. If you want to edit goals, tap on edit goals. Of course, you can tap on keep default goals to skip this step. And here you can customize these steps, uh, floors climbed, fluid consumption, and stuff like that. 
Next, we have permissions, and we have permission for the notification access. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. If you want to, tap on the allow notification access and then allow the required permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip to skip this step. I'm gonna allow it, like that. Next, we have the location permission. This is useful if you want to track the uh, routes for your training and stuff like that. So, for example, you went to uh, run and you want to check your route on the map. You want, to, If you want to do it, you need to allow the loca location permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it denied. If you want to enable the location permission, it will redirect you to this page. Tap on permissions, find the location, tap on it, and tap on allow all the time and go back to the app. Next, we have the calendar access. This is useful if you want to see the events and stuff like that from your calendar on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip to skip it. And then we have call log access. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications about calls. It will display the who's calling you, the number, contact, and stuff like that. Allow it or deny it. Next, we have the phone call access, SMS. And once you're done with the permissions, you can tap on sync now. Then tap on finish. Once you see this page, you can go through the tutorial of how to use the watch by tapping on next, or you can tap on skip to skip it. Then tap uh, on the finish. Um, then tap on not now. And got it. At this point, you should see the My Day page. On it, you can tap on more. Then tap on uh, Garmin devices to see the list of devices connected to your account. And you should see your Vivo Move style right here. You can tap on it to open the device page. Okay, so that's how you pair the watch uh, through the setup process. Now I'm gonna disconnect it from our phone. And we're gonna connect it through the settings. So let's close this, open the uh, settings on our phone, go to Bluetooth and check if we have it here. It is here, so we're gonna forget it. Okay, and now let's enter the pairing mode on the watch uh, for the settings. To do it, uh, tap on the screen, double tap on the screen to wake up the screen on your watch. Okay, let's skip this. Come on. Okay, so wake up the screen and press and hold on the screen uh, to open the menu, like that. Now, scroll through the menu by swiping left and right on the screen and find the option called phone. Once you find it, tap on the screen to enter. Here, find the option called per phone, tap on the screen to enter, and it will enter the pairing mode. Once it does, open the app, then uh, you can tap on plus button right here, for example, and then it will detect your watch automatically. You can tap on connect it, allow the required permissions, enter the pin, pin from the watch, then you can tap on next. Here you can again set the bedtime, preferred wrist, select the watch face, set the goals, and then you can tap on sync now. Then you can tap on finish. Of course, if you install the app for the first time, you will need to go through the permissions and stuff like that. Then we have a tutorial, finish, and if you tap on more, Garmin devices, you will see your uh, Vivo Move style right here. You can tap on it to open the device page, which means that the devices are paired together. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.